Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good today. So once again, Cardi B and JT are trending all over Twitter. As we all know, last week, Cardi B got into that back and forth with Akbar V. And now today she's in a back and forth with JT of the City Girls. So it seems like all of this drama just came out of the blue. What initially happened is that basically, if you guys don't know, JT and Glorilla hooked up and they dropped a song on 9-11. JT jumped on Glorilla's FNF remix. And her verse on that remix was definitely dope. Um, Lotta was also on the remix. So one of the fan pages decided to tweet this. Y'all know these fan pages are messy, honey. So one of the fan pages said, JT... Akbar, Bia, Katie got bands after seeing Glorilla get a top 10 hit without doing all the peen writing and extra shit. And so they had posted that meme and JT decided to reply back. So JT says, I'm not like that at all. I've been doing remixes and never got credited on a chart, but they get sung word for word and help push the original song as intended. Unlike y'all, well, I can't even say y'all because you don't rap, you tweet. Congratulations, Glow, and Stream FNF Remix and Queen Mix. So that is what she said. And a lot of fans felt away because, you know, Cardi was on that song. And, you know, JT, Cardi, City Girls, they've all worked together. So people were feeling like, well, why would you leave Cardi off of that? Thank you. So as you can see here, the fans were definitely coming at her like, okay, why are you being shady? So, of course, the fans were mad and they were dragging JT. So then JT comes back and she says, all you got to do is be happy. And that's enough to make a mother effer mad. And then Cardi comes out of nowhere and she subs tweet lap dog. Then JT says, I hope you don't think you know bully. Subtweeting Cardi. Then she says wiener dog to Cardi. Then Cardi comes back and says, go fetch. So then JT replies to somebody and somebody says, no, you been waiting. And JT says, waiting on what exactly? I literally bother no one. Fuck out of here. Move for real. Then she says, Cardi, you go fetch real talent. We were DMing. Why you come back here to put on a show for these kids? Then JT replies to somebody else who says, Nikki put you up to this? Question mark. Okay. JT says, no, no, no. And no again. See, y'all want to know so bad and be wrong. I don't gossip with her about nobody. All this is because of fan pages. So now Cardi replies back to JT and she says, so wait, me and you was talking in the DMs woman to woman, but you're going to go take to your timeline and throw shots, calling me a bully and a wiener. Why are you playing dumb? And you talking about talent? Ha, you forgot P tried to put me on with your writer. And then somebody else replies to Cardi and they say, how you sub a bitch and play victim? Girl, be serious. So Cardi B replies back and she says, how am I playing victim? I'm standing on what I said. Then she goes on to say, matter of fact, I'm not even doing this on the timeline. It's becoming real repetitive for doggy treats. We're already addressing it in the DMs. Goodbye, y'all. So then JT replies back and she says, that was before you replied. You said you were talking about me. So tell the world why you said I'm a lap dog, Cardi. Then she goes on to say, no, you wanted our written for our hooks, for our sound, because you clearly have none. Ask any writer. I write my own shit and you know this. And then another fan replies back and says, the one little Yachty wrote for them. JT replies back to that fan and she says, the one I wrote my own verse to, that part that people love. As well, I can go on live and write a rap in the whole world's face, but I don't give a F about that. I ain't no slave to y'all or no mother effing charts. Suck my peen. And then another fan says, Saying they were begging her in 2019 for a hit is insane. JT replies back and says, I was in jail, but also very thankful. Also never dissed her. I never had a problem. She says because I wrote her fans back, the same fans that she curses out like a dog. But hey, I could be wrong. I don't know. Then Ken Barbie comes out of nowhere and he says this. The girl's chest is feeling real strong, talking down on the same person that gave them their biggest hit. 
Why the F would Cardi need your writers and hooks when they haven't worked out for you in how long? You're not even seeing charts with them. So then JT replies back and she says, I don't care about no hit. Man, I'm my mother. I'm not a slave to the billboard or the chart data. Fuck all y'all. And while you at it, find a tweet or the time that I talk crazy about Cardi B. You can. Then she writes, shake it dropped and I tweeted her lyrics in the midst of a stand made up drill war. But today was supposed to be about Glorilla and instead you caught me a lap dog. Nah, bitch, I'm a big dog. Roof, roof. Then Cardi replies back and she says, I definitely didn't. P wanted to put me on with your writers because Ja's numbers make him pennies. My talent speaks for itself, though. So she went on to circle all of the City Girls videos and how many views they've gotten versus when she jumped on the track with the City Girls. So then JT replies back and she says, Cardi, please, I'm not impressed. I don't care. I'm not about to beef with you about YouTube. Girl is crazy. Then Cardi says, didn't I hit you back in the DMs 20 minutes ago? But I got to come on the timeline for a response. And you're mute but steady arguing here. Like I said, this shit's for show. Opportunist. Then JT replies back and she says, maybe both of our timings are off, but how am I an opportunist? You caught me a lap dog for no fucking reason. Makes sense. But back to the DMs I go. Then Cardi says, matter of fact, I'm not doing this on the timeline. It's becoming real repetitive for doggy tweets. We already addressed this in the DMs. Goodbye, y'all. Then JT says, wait, I'm back for this last tweet because who's doing anything for a doggy treat? If anything, Glorilla have you a bone that you need to go feed to that dog that was posing by the pool with for hot shit fancy pants. I don't know what she's trying to say right there, but maybe y'all can decipher it. And then somebody says, damn, she really be keeping up with Cardi's feed. And JT says, yes, because I have no problem with her. Wrong bitch. That was y'all making fake ass problems and she went for it. Then Cardi replies back and she says, hot shit debuted higher than any song you've ever dropped or been on, prison pants. Everybody has good and bad moments, but you haven't had one since act up. Then after that, prison pants started trending all over social media. Then Cardi replies back and says, if the shoe fits, that's your fault. Then she also says, you know what? The DMs are getting more personal and it's way beyond this shit. I'm going to stop it right here. Twitter, you're welcome for the show. With the accent. I bet y'all do it with the accent. I bet y'all put the accent. Same group of bitches down and add to the picture. I bet y'all use they accent though. You're not using little Yachty accent. You're using they accent. The fuck? Y'all be singing that song with your whole fucking chest. Y'all bitches be fucking hating. Same bitches that be popping shit in the comments sing that song with their whole fucking heart. So while they're going back and forth and, you know, arguing with each other, Nicki Minaj is on her page posting memes. The first meme that Nicki Minaj posted was a gif of Rick James. Um, the second meme was a meme of Whitney Houston laughing. Then after that, Nicki Minaj changed her icon picture to JT. And then Cardi B being petty, she changed her icon picture to Remy Ma. So right now, Remy Ma is trending. It is a mess on Twitter. Today has just been crazy between this back and forth with Cardi and JT, Blueface and Krishan, Kanye West. Child, Twitter is a hot mess right now. Now, on top of that, Cardi also retweeted um, a post from one of her fans that said, Cardi, open the door, and it's JT talking. Then she also went on to repeat another video of P basically telling JT to rap more like Cardi. Yeah, listening like, like when Cardi record her song, how it's a minute before that beat kick in. You want people to be sitting there listening, like feeling you what you what you talking about before you just come in talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Cardi opened the door for a lot of normal girls that feel like they could be rappers. You know, that's I love Cardi for that. Like. You know, Cardi, you, you seen her, I watched Cardi from being that girl in her bed to being on, on Met Gala. So it's like, Ooh, okay. Then the final tweet that Cardi posted was keeping up with Cardi. Yeah, I know. So like I said, today has been a crazy day on Twitter with both of these female rappers. 
Who do you guys think is at fault here? Are y'all Team Cardi? Are y'all Team JT? Do you guys feel like this has been brewing for a while? Do you feel like Nikki is somewhere, you know, pulling the strings and causing these girls to fight? Or do you feel like it's the fandoms that are causing a lot of this drama? So I leave the question up to y'all. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. So don't forget to like the video. Make sure you still subscribe and let me know your thoughts on all of this drama that went down today on Twitter. Talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.